I had hard stick to the left, hard rudder left, and I went inverted. And, and I knew I was in trouble then. It was a beautiful Sunday afternoon of April 2009 when Randy Higgins told his wife he was going to fly his ultralight aircraft to visit some friends. On his return flight, he flew into some strange winds that began tipping his wings up and down. Higgins dropped to about 500 feet trying to get out of the winds. I got closer to the Rappahannock River. I started seeing these, these down drafts of air hitting the top of the water surface. Higgins decided it was best to land in a nearby field. The plane was acting even more erratically, so he had to abort the first approach and make another attempt. When I came into my turn and straightened up, the wingtip just dropped down like twice and then just rolled. It was flying inverted, heading toward the earth then at that point. Losing elevation, Higgins knew he had to do something quick. He pulled the safety pin on his plane's parachute system. Behind his seat, a solid rocket ignited and a canister opened. Then I, all of a sudden I heard that like a poof, like a air consumption. And, and the plane just stopped, kind of like someone would, like reached out and grabbed me and just stopped me. The parachute on Higgins' aircraft was developed by Ballistic Recovery Systems, or BRS. During the 1990s, NASA Langley Research Center awarded BRS several small business innovation research contracts. The center was working on safety features for smaller planes. Today, the BRS system is not just for sport aircraft. In 2002, the Federal Aviation Administration certified one of the systems for certain Cirrus aircraft and over 250 lives have now been saved by a BRS parachute improved through a NASA partnership. Randy Higgins did make it home that night. His aircraft too, sort of. Without the BRS parachute, he knows things would have been different. What would have happened without the chute? What would have happened? <laughs> you wouldn't be talking to me right now. My wife would have buried me. I'd have been gone. There's no doubt in my mind.